And then what you do is you fill the bottle up, uh, th that wine goes into a bottle, and you add what is no, known as the liqueur de tirage. And this is basically a little bit, as you can see in the picture on the right, that's the old fa fashion method. Uh, but they just add sugar and they add yeast. Okay, so the sugar that's being added now and then put it in the, in, to the juice along with the yeast goes into the bottle and that sugar is going to be consumed by the yeast to produce alcohol and carbon dioxide. That's fermentation, yeah. So that's what you get the bubbles trapped inside, okay? And generally, it's somewhere between four to six atmospheres of pressure. So six atmospheres of pressure is like three times the amount of pressure in your automobile tire. So it's a lot of pressure. And during that second fermentation in the bottle, obviously the yeast eventually will die. And you can see there in the picture there, they are settled along the side of the, the bottle. Most of the times the bottles are laid down horizontally like this because it helps to disperse the yeast across as much surface area as possible. And the yeast are doing some really important things. During this maturation, as the yeast are settling in there and dying and after fermentation, they may stay in this bottle for two, three, four, up to 10 years. As they die, they're giving, they're the, what they call it the autolysis, the, the decay and disintegration of these yeasts, produce very interesting, mostly proteinaceous compounds that give you that unique sparkling wine, or traditional sparkling wine taste, the toastiness, the bread dough, the, bis, the biscuit, the brioche, uh, the pastry. Those characters are from the yeast. And you obviously want to get a lot of those characters. So generally, the, the uh, peak the most rapid part is in the first 18, 24 months, and it continues on for about four or five years or longer, but it slows down that yeast autolysis. But um, it helps to really add not only the flavor, but a creaminess and a texture uh, that's quite rich.